All right, let's look at this personal statement from an international medical graduate who pursued US clinical experience. My desire for knowledge and to become a compassionate doctor who places the highest value on empathy, teamwork, and dedication drove me to leave my home country. I wanted to be a part of the distinctive medical system that is provided in the US. To leave my comfort zone and pursue my goal in a distant nation that supports my aspirations required a lot of willpower. So the problem with this paragraph is that, you know, the way it's written, that is, you place the highest value on empathy, teamwork, and dedication, and that drove you to leave your home country, you're almost implying that these qualities don't exist in your home country, in the institution that you trained, in the environment that you were trained in, which is kind of not nice. You know, we really should not talk about or present, you know, the negatives that we're trying to escape. Let's talk about the positives that we're trying to go for. So instead of saying it, these qualities drove you uh, away from your home country, you know, just talk about just talk about what were your experiences in the U.S. when you pursued your U.S. clinical experiences, whether it has to do with, um, say, the cancer screening guidelines or the practice of evidence-based medicine and so many other reasons. Just talk about the good things that you learned in the U.S. clinical experience so that the program director knows that you're ready to begin residency training. So that's why I feel this, this is kind of not fitting well in your personal statement. It's sounding very negative. Yes, leaving your comfort zone, going to a different country is stressful. All I'm going to say is, you know, a lot of people have done that and are successful. But, and so just focus on the positives here. 